These 78 records with their bleached out labels were collected in the early 1950s by myself. Uh, someone sailed 78 records in the early 50s when 78s were becoming essentially extinct, becoming obsolete. And uh, a number of what were then old 78s were sailed off of the railroad tracks of uh, the Wabash Railroad tracks in Ferguson, Missouri, where I grew up. And these were uh, collected by myself when I was about 10 years old from Minnert's Pasture, where they had sat in the sun and bleached. And they show the toughness of 78 records, because I'm going to play a few of these. And uh, they sat in the sun for perhaps, um, in some cases, maybe three or four months, as you can see by the bleach labels. These records were not, weren't the only artifacts showing up uh, in Minner's Pasture. Uh, these also showed up uh, in Mailing Creek, which went through Minner's Pasture, as well as the records. And it's interesting, these are, of course, arrowheads from the um, uh, St. Louis area, which uh, was richly inhabited by Native Americans about a thousand years ago. Heads are part of the culture associated with Cahokia Mounds, a World uh, Heritage Foundation, or World a UN United Nations Heritage Foundation site. And St. Louis used to be known as Mound City. And it's interesting that this record, which came from Minnes Pasture, along with the arrowhead you see here, uh, is by the Mound City Blue Blowers. Uh, there's only one Indian mound on the St. Louis side, on the Missouri side, uh, that's still left. Most the other ones were destroyed in the late 19th century. But uh, the Mound City Blue, Blue Blowers were a popular uh, ensemble in the early 20s. And we're going to hear one of the records from Minner's Pasture with the Mound City Blue Blowers playing what they do.